question. What is going to be my answer sentence? What am I counting? Let's start there. What am I counting? Eva, what am I counting in this problem? Mm -hmm. I am counting balloons, specifically balloon animals. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Somebody take my unit and put it into an answer sentence. I'm counting balloons. So what's going to be my answer sentence? If you don't remember how to make an answer sentence, you all know how to flip a question. How many more dog balloons were made than bears? Ella Harris, what do you think? Um, made blank balloon animals. Do I care how many animals you made? Look at that question. It says, how many more dog balloons were made than bears? Flip it. Good. Coco the clown made blank more dog balloon. Balloons. I know that Coco the Clown went to this birthday party. I know that I'm counting balloon animals. And I know that I want to figure out how many more dog balloons he made over the bear balloons. What is the very next thing I need to figure out? McKenna? I need to figure out what math am I going to do? What math skill am I going to use to solve this problem? Chill. The world is not ending. No. What math skill am I going to use? Mason? How do you know? Yeah. When I need to figure out a difference between two numbers, I'm going to be subtracting. In this case, I have some dog balloons and I have some bear balloons, correct? And it wants to know how many more. That's saying I'm comparing that. Here's some dogs, here's some bears. Which one has more? I have to compare them. When I compare them, I'm finding the difference, which is an answer to a subtraction problem. We are going to subtract. Go ahead and get out your base 10 pieces and move your notebook to the side. With what we know, this is just like what we did with addition. We need to first set up the expanded version of our number. Subtraction is a little different of a ball game, though. Remember when I said if I add 2 plus 3? What do I get? Five. And if I add 3 plus 2, what do I get? Five. It doesn't matter the order for addition. Well, let's try this. What if I do 5 minus 3? What do I get? 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 3 is always 2. What if I did 5 minus 2? No. Can't do it. Need more. Tajir has $5. He gives me $2. Three. How many dollars does he have left? Three. 
three, all right, is that the same as if I say Tajir has five dollars and this time he gives me three dollars? How many dollars does he have left? Two. So do the or does the order matter? Yes. Subtraction, the order matters a whole lot. We need to start with what we have. A lot of you have learned the bigger number goes on top. Forget that information. What? Just because in third grade, we're not going to do anything crazy. In math, when you get to middle school, when you get to high school, you will have to subtract small numbers. I need to subtract big numbers from them. So I'm not going to tell you that you always put the big number on top because that's not always the case in math. Math is kind of like science. You never really know. So I need you to actually think and figure out what do we have? What is the very first thing that we have when I look at my answer center? Well, it says clown made blank more dog balloons. If I'm making more dog balloons, I need to have that first. So the very first thing I'm going to do is expand out my dog balloons. How many dog balloons did I make? Twenty-six. Uh, Courtney? Twenty-six. Using your base ten pieces, let's make our twenty-six. Am I going to put any hundreds down? No. Am I going to put tens down? Yes. Raise your hand and tell me how many. Susie, how many? Yep. How many? I'm going to put two because we know two tens really mean 20. How many ones am I going to put down? How many ones, Dylan? Six. Six. I know you don't have a marker, but I'm going to do my dotted line. What's the next thing that I have? I have dog bullets. That's the very first thing I have. What's the next thing that I have? Damien? Bear balloons. Bear balloons. How many of those do I have, Damien? 17. Alright, make 17 below where you've made your dog balloons. Kayla, how many hundreds am I going to have? Zero. Zero. There's no hundred. Um, Natalie, how many tens am I going to have? Seven tens? One ten. Gabriella, how many ones am I going to have? Seven. Seven. The trick with subtracting like this is to make a match. So every time I make a match, I can move those away. <laughs> One thing that I'm noticing I hear and Cheyenne doing is they made their top counters different colors from their mm -hmm. bottom counters. Mm -hmm. That's pretty helpful to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> so I have six ones in my top number. Do I have enough to take away seven ones? No. No. No, I don't have enough. I do have enough. Yes. They're hiding. There are more ones hiding. Because right now I only have six hanging up. Where are some more of my ones hiding in this problem? Because they're there. They're just hiding. So, Brian, where are they hiding? In the 17. Not the 17. Nope. Lucy, where are they hiding? In a 10. So we're going to take, I want you to pick up one of your 10s from your top row. Take it to the bank. You don't want that 10 rod anymore. What do you want to trade that for? Courtney, you're not going to, you're going to take a 10 to the bank and say, give me a 100? 
No. What are you going to trade a tens rod for? Think about what we need and think about how much a tens rod is worth. Ella Harris? Okay. So if I give it, we need more ones, right? And if I take the bank, here's my 10 rods. What are they going to give me back? I'm going to get 10 ones. So you took your 10 rods to the bank, pull out 10 more ones, and add it to our top spot. Count in your head. Do I have enough to make matches with my top and my bottom? I have 16 on my top. Do I have enough to take away seven ones? Yes. Yes. All right. So what you're going to do is... I am our yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a yellow side and match it with one of the red sides. And when I make that match, I'm going to put them to the side. Does that make sense? So the yellow counters are her top ones. Her red counters are her bottom ones. We're going to make a match, throw them to the side. Make a match, throw them to the side. Make a match, throw them to the side. Make a match, does that make sense? I'm going to come around and help you guys do that. So once you've made your matches, because you need equal parts going away, you need one from the top and one from the bottom subtracting, which is 16 minus 7. What is 16 minus 7? What did you have left over? What did you have left over when you made your matches and you got them out of the way? Courtney? Nine. So you should have nine left, probably on top. Let me fix my four because I got rid of that ten. All right, let's look at our tens now. Crew, let's look at our tens now. I have one ten and I need to subtract one ten. Do I have enough tens to do that? Yes. 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 Make those match. Throw them away. Do I have any tens left over? No. 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 What's going to be my answer? Raise your hand to tell me. What's going to be my answer? Your court should look like, or your desk should look like my chart. Marker? Nine. Nine. Nine what? Nine what? Nine animal balloons. Coco the clown made nine more dog balloons than animal balloons. Flare balloons. You're correct. Does that answer make sense? Yes. yes. I'm not asking is it right. I'm asking does it make sense? Yes. If I had, if I had a two-digit number and I was going to subtract another two-digit number, would it make sense to get a one-digit number? Yes. Make um, could. Would it make sense to get a four-digit number? No. No. No, if I have a two-digit number minus a two-digit number, my answer will never, ever, ever be a thousand. Okay? I'm not asking is my answer right. I'm asking is it, is it reasonable? Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay? Make sure you fill this in on your paper in your notebook.